said so many times giving, 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 but what about receiving? Is it less important? Totally unimportant. I, I, in my case, I feel that there are some moments when I cannot receive, like I'm blocking away yeah, receiving, yeah. and then I find like, oh, yeah. it's not good either. Yeah. So, uh, um, yeah, on the personality structure, yeah, we can block receiving. Yeah. Um, let me try to imagine why that would be. Like I can bring my own example. Like I, I, yeah. I can't really take compliments. I'm like, oh, shit, no. Like, please don't tell me that I'm something good or... There could be two reasons why that is. Is because the person's complimenting you because they want to take something from you? No. Or because they're complimenting you because they want to give? To give, yeah. Like, I feel it that they just say it from pure heart that yeah. I'm something good or great. And then I'm like, oh, I don't need it. I have this feeling that I don't need this compliment because I, I'm okay without it. Okay, let's try. <laughs> so if I, if I tell you that you're, um, you have beautiful eyes, how does that make you feel? Insecure. Yeah, so that's really what's happening, is that you're fighting it off because of personality. Like, so how, how does that make you feel insecure? A weak, like uh, not powerful, not strong. Yeah, like uh, I have to give up like my strength. Yeah, it's something that your parents have taught you. This is a habit. Yeah, so I your parents have taught you that receiving love because it is vulnerable, like you sit there yeah. and someone compliments you, it's like vulnerable and open and beautiful. So your parents have told you that um, that taking compliments is a weakness. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's embarrassing. Yeah. It is also embarrassing when people are flooding you with compliments. Yeah. But it, there's something beautiful in that too. I see it, yeah. Yeah. So, it's a, it's, um, so just look, look at uh, your mum and dad. When you're next around your mum and dad, are they still alive? Yeah. So when you're next around them and they compliment you, what happens? In me? Yeah. yeah I get embarrassed. I, I have this feeling I don't need it. I'm not... Mm. Do they compliment you often? No. I don't, I don't think so. Do they no. tell you you do things wrong often? No. They just do not. don't do that? No. Do, you, do they tell you they love you? No. It's, it's not the thing in, in my country, it's not the word to say. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's, a, it's, a, it's a personality structure that you've built. Yeah. That, yeah, that is, to that. your parents is weakness, and so when somebody is telling you a compliment, they're taking from you. Like, so if I tell you you've got beautiful eyes, I'm not taking from you. It feels like my heart, like... Yeah, I know, and I feel like I have to surrender. I yeah. have to give up everything for this, to receive it. Yeah. Yeah. So that's something you can look at. In yeah. Because what happens then is you like attracts like. So if you're going around deflecting compliments, then like you're, you're pushing away people that are appreciating you. Mm, I know, yeah. Mm. And then the ones that get in are the ones that don't. Yeah. And so then the structure builds, and then you're in your 40s, 50s. Yeah. And you built it for many years. All right, I give up. <laughs> yes. Related to this, it can be also like a, a way for the me to maintain a. Uh, a position in a l lower, um, yeah, it's a lower position. Like it's too much to feel it, to feel the, the yeah. compliments. So I don't want to feel it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I totally. Feel, I feel the same sometimes. Sorry. Yeah. Yeah. The strongest position that you can ever take is that total vulnerability. Like, so somebody gives you the compliment and you just totally uh, vulnerable, like. Like yourself with it, like um, rather than deflecting or 
like a child, like that innocence. This is, it's weird that that's the strongest position because in a way it's no position, it's spontaneous to whatever your body feels like reacting. Thanks. Hello. Hi. Um, did you say that receiving is totally unimportant? Or did I make that up? Um, I don't know what I said. I did say it to Lango. Okay, what did I say it to in... Um, what did I... Yeah. She said, um, what about receiving? And you said, well, receiving is not... Oh, yeah. It's totally unimportant. Yeah. yeah. But I don't remember the question either. <laughs> like, compared to what to give him. Yeah. yeah, it's all about giving. Receiving happens. Receiving happens, receiving especially happens. when you are all forgiving, then uh -huh. you receive. But giving doesn't mean that you have to give everything away, like that you're the poor one and everyone else is the rich one. It's not about not having boundaries. It's about that vibration of love. Like, just sinking into yourself. When you sink, when you stop being somebody, you'll just go back to this natural flow, which is like that. It's all about the collapsing of the illusion. Okay. <laughs> so this is an example, like now I can feel that I'm beginning to get at the end. I'm beginning to come to the end of speaking today. Um, and that doesn't mean that I'm not giving anymore. I'm now in the next phase of giving, of giving silence. <laughs> like everything is like a, a positive, there's no, there's no place to, to find problems. There is nothing that's a problem. Doesn't that sound weird? Then I'm then giving silence. Everyone else is like, give me more words. Give me more words. And then the heart doesn't want to do that anymore. It wants to do something else. And that's what you've just got to stay with, is what the feelings are instructing. That's God. That's life instructing this instrument to move in particular ways. And it feels like love. And you know this. Everybody knows this, but they're scared of it. They're like, but can't we just listen to the fear a little bit? Let's listen to the fear a little, a little. I might become broke. I might be one of those homeless people on the street. I might be trampled all over. Like attracts like. Yeah, normally what happens in most cults, this is not a cult. You can only come here. We don't have an organization that you can come and live at. This is just a, a cult for two hours. Um, but something that they, they like in cults is that all the followers have to be in giving, but the organizers and the teachers are in the taking. That's often what they, they are liking. So they like to teach this teaching. But you guys have to give. You have to give away your house. You have to give away your money. And all of it's in the name of enlightenment. It's an energetic feeling. It's not an actuality. Like you can have the biggest house and still be in giving. Like the biggest house, the mansion, and the teacher's in the tiny little pocket house at the bottom. And you can still be in total giving. If anyone would like to give away their house, I'm very open. <laughs> to receiving. I already do have one house, but I'm open for a second one, particularly in um, south of Spain, Portugal.